Hello, my name is Rob Anderson and I'm the Senior Engineer here at Tomato. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Tomato MC3 gate into a small class vehicle equipped with an OBD2 port. Before we begin, we must make sure that we have everything we need for this particular installation. The parts that come in the box are the MC3 gate, an installation kit, and an MC3 OBD2 harness. Now that we have all of our supplies, we will start to install the MC3. First, we will need to remove all panels that are necessary to remove for our wire connections and the MC3 mounting location. In some cases, it is helpful to remove the weather strip within the door jam to provide more room. Once the panels are removed, we will need to locate the OBD2 connector. This OBD2 connector has two bolts that are securely attached to the OBD2 bracket. We will want to remove the two bolts. Now that we detach the OEM OBD2 connector, we will now connect the MC3 OBD2 harness to the OEM OBD2 connector. It is important to use a tamper resistant zip tie from the install kit to ensure that the connection is secure. For safety measures, we will want to use zip ties to secure any cable slack from interfering with the driver. Now we will run the MC3 harness up into the dash where the MC3 will be securely mounted for optimal GPS sky view. Now that we have properly wired the MC3 OBD2 harness to the asset, we need to start the vehicle so we can plug in the OBD2 harness into the MC3. Once the OBD2 harness is plugged into the MC3, we will want to keep the device still as the MC3 performs post the power on self-test. If the device is not stationary, post will fail to scan the vehicle's communication line. The MC3 will now go through a power on self-test. The test has four phases, which the status will be indicated by the LEDs. First, the red LED will turn on, indicating a boot up, and there is proper power to the MC3. Second, the amber light will start to blink, indicating that the MC3 is searching for a GPS signal fix. Once the light becomes solid, this will indicate that the device has a good GPS signal fix. Third, the green light will start to blink, indicating that the MC3 is searching for a cellular connection. Once the light becomes solid, this will indicate that the device has a good cellular connection. Fourth, the blue LED will become solid once the MC3 has made a successful connection to the vehicle's communication line. Now that the MC3 has completed the power on self test, all LEDs will turn off. While the asset is still turned on, the red, amber, and green light should turn on and remain solid. Once you have verified proper operation, turn off the asset which will turn all the LEDs off on the MC3. Now that the MC3 has completed posts successfully, we can now securely mount the MC3. Once the MC3 is securely mounted, we will want to take the excess of the wire harness and neatly zip tie the excess to an OEM wire harness inside the dash. You can now reattach all panels. An additional note, the MC3 OBD2 harness contains a small circuit board that will allow third-party devices such as a scan tool, an emission tool, and other telemac devices to gracefully come aboard the OBD2 communication line without causing any interference issues. Thank you.